This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz and we are joined by Professor Stephen Aulis. He is with Cal Poly Pomona and he is the director of a program that I think is so critical and so inspiring in a lot of ways. It's called the Scientific Educational Enhancement Services Program. What is it? So uh, the CS program is a program that's based within the College of Science of Cal Poly Pomona mm -hmm. and it was established back in 1987 uh, to provide additional services that the college didn't provide and it was especially targeted to the students that we have from more disadvantaged backgrounds. Uh, financially disadvantaged, right. uh, first generation students who might not have a lot of guidance. And so uh, we're there to provide a lot of services, be it financial, be it moral, be it academic, right. uh, just and but, our primary goal is is retention, which we have a problem with across the spectrum, and even more so with this population. But let me ask you: If you got into Cal Poly Pomona, right. you're, you're no dummy. If I can use an SAT word, That's you know. Right. And so, do these students need these services? Because obviously, they've been doing something right for a long time. No affirmative action at Cal Poly Pomona, so it right. sounds as if they got in through some special program. Right. So, and so one of the things that we're very worried of is that when you go into the College of Science, just the, the curriculum is so much tougher uh, than you would find in a lot of other majors. You go in as a mathematics major where calculus is your life, or a right. physics major, or biotechnology where you take chemistry and physics and calculus. Of course. It becomes very, very difficult. And so being a first generation student, there's no one at home to have helped you go through this. My father was a first generation student. Mm. And I've told the story before, he got into two universities. He got into Columbia, Ivy League, and Brooklyn College of Pharmacy. So where did he go? Brooklyn College of Pharmacy, because his cousin went there. But that's the first generation experience. You know, right. th there isn't that kind of culture of college. And so I understand what you're t dealing with is, is this kind of culture of college mm -hmm. to give these students perspective. Right, and I think uh, perspective from a lot of different angles, like mm -hmm. I said. Uh, and I think one of the things that uh, we do best is we put together a, uh, a mentoring program. Mm. And so the, you know, we serve uh, in our program about 620 students. Uh, but there's only myself and the program coordinator, there's uh, only two of us. Sure. So we needed to expand that. And so what we have is we have the upper division students who have been very successful in other majors mm -hmm. as a... Uh, as mentors to the incoming freshmen, so that the freshmen are never lost. Now, I know Cal Poly's science department has a program known as Learn by Doing. And so I'm wondering how that plays out for all students, and specifically some of the students that you target through C's. Right, so uh, our motto is Learn by Doing, mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's a different than what you see at other universities. So how does it impact mm -hmm. us? Um, one of the things that we're big on is we write grants and we go out and get funding mm -hmm. to provide scholarships and fellowships for these students. Uh, but it's not a handout. There are a lot of expectations of them because the thing is to make them competitive. Mm. The learn by doing comes in that we don't just say, you know, here's a scholarship. We say, here's a fellowship where mm. this money is yours, but what you're going to do is you're going to do research with a professor in chemistry or I math see. or computer science so that they're implementing what it is that they learn in the classroom way before they have to do it once they're out in the workforce. So have you seen success? The program now is, what, 25 years old, I guess. Have you seen success? Yeah, we have just an extraordinary alumni base. Uh, what we see in terms of our graduation rates is higher than we see in the College of Science in general. Oh, really? And that's because we have a lot of academic excellence workshops that help them that way. We have the mentoring program, which right. means that we have the scholarships and the fellowships. So it's just a, a community of support. Do Cal States have a program like this, San Luis Obispo or anyone else? You know, uh, there is one program uh, that exists based out of Cal State Sacramento Got that, it. that is that is on all campuses. I uh, see. It's called uh, the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, and we run that through C's at Cal Poly Pomona. Nice. But we're bigger. You'll come than back? Hamp. Absolutely. He is Thank Dr. you for Stephen having Aless. me here. He is a professor at Cal Poly Pomona. My name is Brad Pomerantz.